We've made some small updates to the increment editor in Dragonframe 5. Let me go ahead and show you how that works. As you know, to make increments for animation in Dragonframe, you first need to start with some kind of line to put the increments on. So I'm going to go over here. I have a drawing layer that I'm on, and I'll select this Bezier tool and do a couple clicks there, and now I've got this shape. We'll imagine we're doing some kind of movement here, and we need some guidance on the increments. Once this is selected, I can then hit the increment editor. So that's right here, this button. And now you can say how many increments you want. So I'll just say 20 for the heck of it. And you can adjust the ease in and out, depending on what kind of animation you want like this. Now I'm noticing that it's kind of hard for me to see these increment markers on the line. So I'm going to select them. They turn cyan. And then I'm going to go over here and change the color to a dark blue. Okay. So now we've got these marks on here and you can adjust them. Like I was just showing you eases like that. And you can say, all right, well, what does this look like at our frame rate? So I can hit this play button and it'll move this little ball going by. You could make that bigger. You could reverse the direction here. You could do the square if that suits you. If you wanted to see this square, this is what we've added that's new. If you want to actually see that thing move while you're shooting, and change positions, what you can do is I'll close out of here. And with this selected, I'm going to hit this show the marker. Okay. And now, so now if I sync that to this first frame with this syncing the marker here button, now as I go, I can see that with a specific position for each frame. And this could be really useful as I'm stepping through my frames. Now, if you didn't want this uh, square or you didn't want the circle, you just wanted to be able to have the ticks show up in a little bit of a different way. Watch this. I'll go ahead and um, go back into the increment editor, turn that off. And now what you'll see is if, if I move through here, it just uses the same markers, but makes it a little bit bigger. If you want to change which frame the marker is associated with, what you can do is unsync it here, un unlink that, and then with these keys, you could move through it back to the frame you want it to be on. So right now it's the beginning, I want that to go to frame 10, and then go ahead and relink it. And now it starts on frame 10. So using these new buttons we put in, like the moving forward and backwards, the linking and the viewing the marker button. It's just a little added extra way to see where you're going with your animation as you're doing it with the increment editor. So hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching.